Uh, yeah, the episode isn't canon. What the fuck does that mean? It isn't canon. And? Plus we haven't edited it yet, you lazy cunt. But I only recorded it yesterday. Doesn't matter. Fuck you, cunt. Hello guys and welcome back to the basement collection and as you may hear I've got game audio going since this is going to be a little bit different There's not going to be much gameplay in this, but uh last time we Clicked a switch for about an hour But uh in the meantime Between episodes, I guess technically off screen But not off screen. I finished Spira and uh <laughs> Oh boy, is that going to be fun? but as I did that, I recorded episodes for all, like I or that or those are going to be um the Frontosaur episodes and yes, <laughs> I do mean episodes since uh, the final level of Spirit is a little bit difficult, much more difficult than I expected. But uh, seeing as we have all these, apart from that, but um, <laughs> yeah. I thought over this this episode and maybe next episode we'll go over like some extra shit but um yeah I guess in this episode we're going to be over going over the un unlockables seeing like what you get and what you may want to prioritize for unlocking first so um even though it is a game as odd as it sounds but um AVGM here isn't actually a game you start off with you unlock it and you unlock it by playing Coil. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit weird. Uh, and then, basically, the rule of thumb here is that these games from Coil over to Spira unlock something. But the thing is, there's only two games, technically three, that don't un unlock anything. And the rule for that is that it's games that don't really have an ending, so Meat Boy and then Grey Matter, they don't unlock anything. And of course, AVGM doesn't unlock anything, seeing as uh, <laughs> you, it's, it's unlockable. And if you're wondering why everything is greyed out here, it is because I believe, seeing as AVGM is a little bit different, but um, once you 100% these games, these then become normal colored apart from grayed out. But um, <laughs> moving on, you have, or you unlock the box by completing Tracknid, you get the chest by doing Aether, I believe? That's a little bit weird. I'm not entirely sure... Maybe you don't unlock anything for doing... I'm, I'm not entirely sure, there's a little bit of confusion in this, but um... You unlock Thicker Than Water by finishing uh, Spira, <laughs> and then I think you unlock the Lonely Hermit, which is... I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> it's a little bit mixed up. I think I might correct it myself in editing, but uh, even though I touched on it, <laughs> the game gives you the soundtrack, which I guess most PC games do. But yeah, um, this is what I've been using most of the time, unless I can find it. Apart from you, good sir, who I couldn't find the um, <laughs> if this game doesn't give. And then, I guess, to finish off the episode, let's go over the bonus content, which is basically extra things from, well, you, uh, <laughs> you unlock bonus content from finish, like for doing some things in the, in the game, seeing as uh, doing this, we have most of it. And uh, I should also say that um, I think in the disc version, like a hard copy of this game, you get a movie called the Indie Game Movie, which kind of goes over the the development process of making an, an indie game, and that has something, and that has things to do with this. But um, there's alternate scenes you get from looking for playing these games, which is pretty cool. Seeing as you get other shit, <laughs> and uh, I know this is on Steam, but I'm not entirely like I have, like I checked on it, 
well, like, not, I didn't really see anything about DLC, but apparently the bonus content of um, this is just through DLC. Although this might just be a joke, I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> oh man, I'm kind of just tired because uh, I kind of got salty from a spill. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> until next time, this has kind of been a short episode, but kind of like the shorter episodes. But um, piss and pineapples, guys. Oh, and also, you get a bigger crown at the title screen for 100% of the entire game. But why would you do that? I don't know. Apart from the Steam achievements. I guess.